Now, two books you might remember pulled off the shelves of the library's children's section will not be pulped. Communications and Information Minister Jakob Ibrahim has instructed the National Library Board, or NLB, to move them to the adult section. He also asked the board to review the process by which it deals with such books. At a news conference later, the board CEO pledged to make its book review process more transparent. The latest developments come even as a new poll shows that a majority of respondents are supportive of NLB's actions. Imam Hassan has more. These are the books in question, and Tango Makes Three and the White Swan Express. They were withdrawn after a complaint that the books with depictions of same-sex parents are not pro-family. Vigorous debate ensued with issues like the role of the library, how it reviews book titles, and what constitutes a family unit. The library board's decision to pulp the books raised further objections with local writers even boycotting library events. On Friday, the Communications and Information Minister acknowledged a strong reaction, saying it reflects a deep-seated respect in Singapore's culture for the written word. So, these books will not be pulped, but will be reinstated at the adult section. Dr. Jakob said parents who wish to borrow these books to read with their children will have the option to do so. Pulping is a technical term used in the book industry to describe the recycling of printed materials. And we had used the term without any intention at all of denigrating books. But Mrs. Ng admits its response could have been better. I think that's um, something we could have um, scrutinized our operations and, and thought through um, perhaps a little more rapidly. Whether withdrawn books will be pulped in future is something the board will look into. It will also look at roping in external third parties when it needs to review what it describes as potentially controversial books. For now, all requests to review books will be put on hold until the board decides on the way forward. Mrs. Ng reiterated that the decision to remove the books from the children's section is about ensuring that books there are age-appropriate. She said the board does not decide what children can or cannot read. That decision, she said, remains with parents. We believe in the library as a um, space you know, for the community where the majority of the community would feel comfortable. In particular, for our children's section, we want the majority of parents to feel comfortable um, with their children browsing there unsupervised. A poll of over 800 Singaporeans by government feedback arm REACH showed that 45% of respondents supported the board's decision to remove the books in question. 28% did not support it and 23% were neutral. More than half also said there are alternatives to doing away with the books instead of pulping them, like moving them to the adult or restricted section or even donating the books. The question is, will the latest move by the National Library Board appease some of its vocal critics? There was definitely a conciliatory tone at today's news conference with the chief executive officer saying that the library remains committed and open to working with its partners again.